Jaina, thank you for listening to our time to talk about the movie, about your role, and congratulations. Gracias, Rafi. Thank you so, so much. Just so you know, I'm I'm coming directly to you from San Juan, Puerto Rico. So uh, I heard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I heard. I will be there in May. I cannot wait. We I miss cannot... you down here. We miss you down here. Um, I want to talk about Lucille for uh, because I I have I have two words to describe her. She's a she's pretty, she's a she's a badass, physical badass, but she's also a techie, and I absolutely enjoyed the combination of those things. And I wanted to ask you, um, is because it seems that if you gravitate to you gravitate to roles that are physically demanding, as uh, we have seen in your in your, in your air projects. <laughs> Uh, and I, and I want to ask this a two part project two two part uh, questions Do, uh, does this happen organically or are you actively looking for physically demanding roles <laughs> no i actually am not <laughs> i love that though i mean i guess naturally naturally that comes i have that i have that craving for it because of my experience dancing salsa for so many years but um I don't know. I think that's, it's something that finds me. I don't go out looking for it. It's something that finds me. But for this one in particular, to work with Jolene Rodriguez, I said, well, I don't care what the story is about. I don't care what my character is. I want to, the fact that you are out here creating opportunities for Latinos, for our, our community, that is so important. You know what I mean? The fact that we can come together and continue to showcase our talents on screen, whether whether it's on, you know, film or, or a series, thank you. Like this is, this is what it's about. So yes. Um, the fact that I get, like I got to do my own stunts was a huge plus because I've never done that, you know, especially on station 19 where they're like, okay, you got to do your own, you know, you have a stunt double. You can't do this because it's too dangerous. And I'm like, what? I'm just climbing up a ladder. How dangerous could that be? But, um, this one was, was intense and I and I and I I'm so grateful for it I had a blast a blast doing it the other part of the question is the other thing the other the other the other word that describes and you see that she's a techie I wonder how much of a techie are you uh, personally <laughs> that is, I I feel like I'm getting worse and worse with age like I don't know everything is just so much more complicated now I I guess because I guess you know, technology advances and everything is just like super easy with a click of a button, everything just works. But to me, I feel like I don't, I know how to turn, turn the Wi-Fi on and restart my phone. And sometimes I'll do the, you know, when we used to bang the TV on the side back in the day when <laughs> I, that's the kind of tech technology, you know, te technological, I see, I can't even say it. That's the kind of tech person I am. <laughs> that's funny that's, that was that's a great answer you mentioned something that and that I, that I consider myself an advocate of I, I'm an advocate of, of women being in lead roles in strong roles but I'm also an advocate of of diversity and inclusion um, or, or or us uh, or everyone that deserves their space having their own space and and this moment you just mentioned yourself we see a lot of Hispanic Latinos being in basically in, in the middle of everything uh, what's that what well, you're already not even doing it but what does that mean that we see hollywood going forward in this direction i mean oh i i that's such a good question i think about that all the time i i think about you know if it's it's a huge responsibility for us i i, I understand completely that we want to we want to stay away from the stereotypes. We want to be a part of a story that doesn't put us in a box and that doesn't limit us. But also at the same time, we want to take those little opportunities because if we don't take them, someone else is going to, someone else is going to take it. Mm -hmm. Like we've, we've got to grab onto that and hold on to that. What as small as it is. So it's one of those things where it's like, how do we move forward? How do we collectively you know, make a mark and, and, and stand out, you know, because our umbrella is so big. We want to tell the story of, we want to tell a Puerto Rican story, but Mexicans can't, you know, they can relate to that, but there, there are differences in that. Like mm -hmm. there's so many intricacies in between the Caribbean and South American, like it's, it can't just be one, right. It can't just be one story, but the, the fact of the matter is that 
as long as we continue to exist in these stories and as long as we continue to represent wherever we're from, mm. then then we're doing it. Like we're showing up and we are we are really because we 10, 10, 20, 15, 20 years ago, we I didn't I didn't really see anyone that I could say, oh my gosh, I that that person, that's my story right there. I, I didn't see that. So the fact that we're even doing it now and existing, we're making huge strides. We're making a huge change. And that to me, I'm all for that. Um, I want to talk a little about the story and, and I love heist movies and I think they always work, seem to work out really great. They, they're fun, they're energetic, they're action packed. But this one, one of the things that I mentioned in my review is I felt, and you can correct me on this one, but I felt everyone in the set had way too that much, that much fun filming this film. I it think did. the chemistry with the other characters and directors and everything, we, we, we it translated so well to the screen that when I was watching it, I was like, they're just, they're getting paid on the Hollywood <laughs> um, well, Yeah, I mean, you could only imagine that off, you know, behind the scenes, behind the, <laughs> like when the, when the cameras weren't rolling, we were having a blast. We were having a, an even better, you know, like more exciting time. Obviously when Latinos get together, you know, there's two Puerto Ricans, Sasha's Dominican, <laughs> Carlos is from Nicaragua. Anthony Nardolito is half Italian, half Puerto Rican. Jolene Rodriguez, Mexican. Like, it's a party. Hueva, eso. Like, we, we get it. We, we know how to celebrate and have a good time and make each other feel included. And I just, it was a blast. It was. It was like a big family. I, I wanted to know, uh, walk, maybe, walk, maybe walk us through a, a specific scene that comes to mind that stands out that you felt that in this specific scene that we were filming, we just were having way too much fun. Which one stands out for you in your head? Um, I think for me, when I, when when Bruno tests Lucille and he's like, well, I can, um, yeah. I'll do it. I've got the muscles. And Lucille's like, no, I, I think I got it. I, I know a thing or two. Yeah. Um, I studied jujitsu and she puts him in his place and does like a little move on him. Mm -hmm. Lisa and Sasha were cheering me on to the point and Carlos was like, yeah, to the, I felt like I was like, okay, this is, this is what it feels like to have people root for you and people in your community go, yeah, you, when you win, we win. Mm -hmm. And that was beautiful. I felt like we, we had a great time. Um, but one final question before I let you go. This, this yes. to me is Robin Hood uh, assembles his own Ocean Eight crew <laughs> to grab gra you know, to 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 steal from the Nazis. Uh, hey, tell tell people what can they expect from the movie. Um, it's it's first of all you need to watch it because the Latinos are in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let we have to show up and support one another, mm -hmm. no matter you know, no matter the the style, the genre. Um, I think that's important. But also, you know, Lati Lisa Vidal, who's this badass, fearless, intelligent Latina. You know, she is our she's our protagonist, and she leads a group of people to 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 right a wrong, and we're we're taking back artwork that was stolen by the Nazis and we're doing a good deed. And, mm -hmm. you know, she gathers a bunch of people that like, like, like Carlos Miranda, Sasha Merci, um, Cam, myself, and we show up and we're badasses. And <laughs> that, that alone is, is entertaining enough. <laughs> I think, I mean, it's, uh, it's a throwback to nineties uh, action movies, uh, which is something I always uh, love about Aww. Hollywood. And, and we, I miss those times. I absolutely love the, 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 the first couple of minutes, the entry to that whole movie. I loved it. And, and Jaina, again, thank you for taking your time. Ho oh, we miss you gracias, Rafael. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you so much.